Welcome back with part four. Part four. And uh, when you write the formal letter, remember with the writing strategy. These writing strategy. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Remember those six things you must remember. Okay, and some of these phrases, some of these phrases that only use for formal letter. So let's read the exercise number six. What you are going to do at home? What you are going to do at home? Imagine you have bought something faulty. Like you have bought a a, a a marker, you have bought a marker, but uh, no, no, not this thing. This is uh, too easy. Just like you have bought a phone, you have bought bought a Samsung phone, but they uh, gave you the Oppo phone. So write a formal letter of complaint about. A um, hundred and twenty words to a hundred and fifty words to the shop or a website or a website. Follow the rules two to six in exercise number four and this writing plan. Remember the instruction. Instruction. You will get higher marks in the test. Introduction. Say what the item is. And where and and where and when you bought it. So you must say where, what, what is it, where you bought it, when you bought it. Okay. The paragraph two. I called it main body. Main body. Explain the detail. What the problem is. Like they gave you the wrong phone. And uh, just or example like the TV. They, uh, they 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 delivered uh, the TV with the uh, the TV screen is broken or uh, broken during delivering or something like that. You 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 can imagine your own ideas to make this thing more uh, interesting, I guess, uh, <laughs> like that. Part three, I called it. Conclusion. Conclusion, like tell the com tell the company tell the company you are returning the item. You are returning the item. So, like that. Ask them to repair it, or exchange it, or give refund, or give you the refund, or you can. Uh, it it means give you the money back. So, with these things, after you write it, remember to check your work. First, have you included the information in the tax from exercise 6? Exercise 6 over here. Exercise 6. Number 2, have you followed the formal letter rules? Uh, 2 to 6 in exercise number 4. Remember that. Three, have you written 120 words for to 150 words? Remember, if you write lower than 120, 120 words, you get uh, the lower points. But if you write more than 150 words, you will also get lower points. But I'll give you this advice. If you want to write, get the highest highest score, please write it carefully. Don't write it too much, then you get lower points. Or don't write it too short, then you get the lower points. Just write it at the medium. Just write it about 130 words. And remember to check the spelling, check the grammar. All of that, you will get the higher spot, the higher points from the others. Four, like the thing I have told you, check the spelling and grammar. With those four things and the instruction that I gave you, you will write a better and the best 
formal letter of complaining. I love making complaints. I also shout at them when they gave me something wrong. Ah, uh, not too bad. But remember, remember the instruction I have told you, okay? That is all the time we have for learning English. We'll say thank you so much for your watching. And uh, remember to review. Uh, what is this? Oh, we have three pages. Remember to review these and these. Yes. Remember to review 5G. 5G and then prepare unit 6A. So next week, we are going to learn a new unit. It is about... How techny are you? Okay, this is the unit six. So that means we are going, we are going the half of our books. So remember to prepare 6A and remember to uh, review 5G. Then write yourself, write by yourself uh, in a formal letter. If you want to get more help, Send it to us on our Facebook page. Send it to our link, okay? Hope to see you guys back on Monday at 7, 7 p.m. on our Facebook page. This show, show brought to you by BUS and Oxford University Press. Uh, today is Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Happy Friday and happy re weekend. Celebrate a big weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye and good night. Bye bye. Cheers, guys. Clean up this mess. Clean up.